We're going to try and get through as many questions as we can today. If you could, raise your hand and wait to the app and then when selected, please let us know who you are and, and which country you represent. Keith? Peter from Sky. You're in. Good afternoon. Good to see you. Um, you love your football, you love the club, you love Liverpool, so why are you so convinced this is the right decision for you? Oh, I thought I said that in the, in the other, what is it, statement or interview or whatever we had. Um, with all the responsibility you have in this job and, and these kind of things, you have to be absolutely top of your own game. That's how it is, and I am. Um, but I'm doing this for 24 years now, and I said that before, when you have the career I have had or have, I want to see that, um, it's pretty much impossible to, to be, start where I start and, arri and arrive at Liverpool. But if, it's, if it becomes possible, then it's just because you absolutely invested everything you had. And um, that's what I always did. It was never a, a problem. Uh, and I realized um, that, this is, that my, 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 my resources are not endless. And... Um, I've, I've preferred to pack absolutely everything in this season and then um, have a break or whatever or have to stop and, and these kind of things because it's you, you realize it yourself, you're in a similar age. It's, um, we are no young rabbits anymore and we don't jump as high as we, we did and all these kind of things and that's, um, that's how it is and that's why I've been... I've been and, it was not, I didn't think about it on purpose. I thought, let's have a think, how would it be? It just happened. And then I started thinking um, about it. And that was the moment when I knew um, this club, especially with the team we have, with all the, 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 the super things we have in this club, this club needs, on top of that, a manager in its top game. Um, at his top level, and when I, mean, I cannot be there anymore, then I have to tell the people that 100%. The other situation would have been we go in the next season, and I realized, and then I knew it before, and get into it and try to get somehow through it. That's not how it should be, and that's why I, I told first the club the decision, then my coaches the decision, and since today everybody knows it, um, and that's it. That I love everything so much, and I think everybody believes me that it's the case. I still think it's the right thing to do. I can just tell you, I, did, I don't take these kind of things lightly. So I'm convinced it's right, and that's why I said it. Hi, uh, Dan Rowan, BBC. Look, it's obviously a big announcement. What are your emotions today? How do you feel? Is it a sense of sadness or perhaps relief? Yeah, it's. The, the relief was there when I made a decision for myself, to be honest. That, that, that was another thing I realized. So I didn't know that, that it would, have, would be the case, but it was like that. Um, today it's mixed. It's mixed, but it's not, I'm not as emotional as I will be when it comes to an end, finally, uh, because I spoke today to the players. So let me say, the two important things I had to do was to tell our, our, our of course, I have to tell the owners, that's clear, but then to tell our supporters and to tell the players. And I don't know 100% about the reaction of the supporters, but the reaction of the players was 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 top. Just um, It was really good. We know each other so long um, that I know I don't say things like that and, uh, and walk away or stuff like this. So I am here and I'm fully here. And by the way, today I answer 500,000 questions if you want, but that's it then. So until the end of the season, because we have so many other things to do, and I'm fully in that. I'm fully in that. So there's not a lot of emotion here. I had a lot of some talks the last days when I had to tell other people slightly earlier than I tell the public, um, and there were some tears and stuff like this. But um, that's normal after such a long time together. Uh, but besides that, it's just the right thing to do, and I'm convinced as well in the right moment, because. The club needs time to um, to plan the future while we are sorting the present, and um, and that's exactly what will happen now. And from that point of view, the emotions will come up. Relief is not there as well anymore because I I, I knew before how I feel about it. Um, yeah. 
Julia from BBC Radio Merseyside. When you spoke to the players and, and they asked you the questions probably that we're all asking today, how did you ensure with them or what was the message about making sure this isn't a distraction because you're still fighting on four fronts? The players did have a lot of questions. I spoke to the players all together and I spoke to a few players after that. The players, we, are, uh, are really, we have a really strong bond, a really strong bond, so they didn't ask questions yet. There's no question because we are professionals and the agreement you have with the team from both sides is you agree for one year. So after that everything can happen. The manager during the year the manager can get the sack, but the players usually the agreement we have from a club point of view is for one year, even after a five, six year contract, because after a year you play much better than the player wants a new contract, you play not as good as you want, then the club might want to sell you, but for a year usually you have a real agreement. And we are completely in that year. And um the boys are and the boys see it exactly like that. I think we had cameras out there for the training session after that, and you could see the boys are in a really good mood. And it was not that they was that they were um, getting up and and having a party when I told them, but it was just it was just an announcement. And I told them that if the, the it's different to other situations. Usually. When a manager is in a dressing room and talks about that, he got sacked and just says goodbye. And um, that wouldn't have happened here because of the things we reached with each other uh, and, and, and achieved with each other. And that's why my responsibility was so, was so big in that, that I have to constantly always think about and, 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 and have a review. Is it still right? Because there was no chance. We had last year's situation in a season, I think a lot of managers would have got the sack yeah, because we had a really bad spell and three or four years ago and all these kind of things. There was never any intention to do that. And that always let my my responsibility grow and grow and grow to make sure, okay, when it's not right anymore, I have to tell because nobody else will tell. Um, and that's what I said to the players as well. Besides that, the disruption, I understand. It's, I think of a lot of um, people from the outside who are not with us. Uh, We'll be happy, blah, 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 stuff like this. Um, it's your job to ask questions, uncomfortable questions, whatever. The, the destruction comes from outside. and But to get destructed, you always need two parts, one who destructs and the other one who let it happen. And we will not let it happen, so that's the plan. And if you want, we can grow even more together in this situation. And um, that's 100% the aim of, of the players and me. And how we said to, to to try to squeeze everything out of that season. We don't know. There's no guarantee. There was before no guarantee that we will win anything this season, and there is now no guarantee. But just the, the fact that I said I will not be the manager for next year is not an excuse to to do a step less or whatever. So we will be completely in it, and we will fight for everything. I'm here with 100 percent, and that's the good news. I just know I cannot do the job in the future, but I can do it very well. Um, right now, and that's what I um, will do. Stuart from PLP. Um, Jürgen, will you have <coughs> any role to play in deciding who your successor is, or will you have? Will you advise the board? How much of that? So that's very important. Look, in, in that in this world, we have you have. A few in football, especially, you have a few faces. Most of the time, it's the manager of the club and um, people like Billy or others uh, who do an incredible job, you don't see that often. So that's just how you live this kind of business. It's is slightly different, but here it is like that. So and it, it, it looks like that I do all the work. I don't. I don't. I can't, and I don't. And that means all the what we built over the last eight and a half years is an incredibly strong structure behind the scenes. So everything goes in the right direction. So that's a good news. That's one of the reasons why I can leave. Because the responsibility, my responsibility is so big. My, my, my idea was always to put everything in place and help with everything that we, that this club gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And we did that to perfection, no, but as good as we could. Um, that means so many people work here and will, with only one idea, to find a perfect solution for Liverpool FC. Well, I'm pretty sure that will happen. And the last thing they need. Is, uh, is an advice from the old man walking out and tell them, by the way, make sure you take him, bring him, him in or whatever. And I will definitely not do that. Um, like you know, most for most of the things I have an opinion, and you will not believe 
to most of the things I still didn't say anything, so um, I have no problem with that. I wish for the future this club just the very, 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 very best, and uh, for now I'm still here and can help them to achieve the best possible. Uh, Billy, can I just ask you from, from a, a board point of view, I mean, how, how significant is, is a moment is this because you're losing a man who's, who's had a great nine years with you? Yeah, I think that's <clears throat> probably hard to put into words how significant it is. Um, and I think uh, when Jurgen joined us in 2015, he talked about um, leaving the club in a better place than, than he found it. And um, I think if you look at where we are today versus where we were when, when he joined us, there's absolutely no doubt that, that he's done that. Um, and as you just said, uh, he's going to be here for several more months. So um, I think from our perspective, obviously, the news is, uh, is sad, as I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of our supporters share that emotion. Um, you know, he and I have had a, a number of conversations over the course of the last several weeks, and um, I think the, the first time that we had a chat about his decision, um, you know, from a, a professional standpoint, but also from a personal standpoint, we've worked alongside each other for the last almost nine years. And I could see from my perspective, knowing him as I do, that this was a decision that that he had come to and that he was absolutely comfortable with and believed in. And when your colleague and friend comes to a decision like that, then that's something that you support and respect. Are you surprised? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, I, uh, but at the same time, I also, you know, I think he said in the, in the video the other day, uh, sorry, last night that, uh, that really this is about, um, everyone sees what happens from, from the outside, but the amount of work, uh, and pressure. And, um, as he said, he's been doing this for 24 years. Um, so surprised in a sense, but also I understand it. And um, as I said, it's it's obviously it's a a sad day, but it's also one that a credit to Jurgen. He's you know he's come to the decision. He wanted to give the club the opportunity to go through what will be an orderly process, um, and that's not easy to do if uh, if this news is in public. So um, we will go through that process, and as we have done in the past. Um, the same process that that brought us Jurgen um, almost nine years ago, and and that's something that we will do uh, we will do in private. That will be done um, with the as Jurgen said, the, the people that are here, our ownership, Mike Gordon in particular, um, will be uh, will be a part of that process. And um, when we get to a place where we have further news on that, then we can discuss it at that point. But it's not going to be something that's going to be a a running commentary. Um, we prefer to, at this club, we prefer to operate um, when we're ready to talk about things, we will. And until that point, um, we won't. And we won't talk about other people and we won't get into the name game. Um, this is really an announcement that Jurgen um, and we are making. And uh, after today, we are focused on the campaign ahead uh, and the opportunity that we have. And, competing on, on four fronts and, and making the 23-24 campaign something that uh, supporters can look back on with, uh, with enjoyment. Cool. Carl Marker from PA. Um, when you came back after the summer, you said you were re-energized and refreshed. Did you, you genuinely believe that was the case or were you trying to convince yourself that, that was the case? No, in a sense, it was definitely exactly like that. But the, the, the reason for that was, um, well, the summer was a difficult summer. So it was really a difficult summer. It was not that um, we had a lot of time to <laughs> to put the legs on the, on the table. So we were working really hard um, to to bring in the the right players. Um, when it happened, and it looked like we okay, we got them now. That was the moment when it was really okay. Let's go for it. But and then we had the training, the the the, the summer we had, and the, the preparation we had. Was absolutely outstanding, and, and realizing how good this team can be, that of course gave me um, a lot of joy, especially. So, but it's not it's not about that. It's um, how I said I, I in this moment I love each minute. 
of the team, how how we react in different moments and all these kind of things. It's just the, the stuff, what you have to do next to it as well. That's that's really a lot, like planning. You might think the transfer window is the transfer window and around that nothing happens, but that actually the transfer window is the one where sometimes decision not a decision is made before, or you try to make them who we go for, stuff like this, but transfer is just a moment and then you can finally finalize it. So the work around planning pre seasons, all these kind of things, there you need to be spot on as well because it's really important. And then I realized that's not that's that's something I cannot. I, I did it so often. I had six press conferences a week since it feels like nine years, pretty much. We played international football. Honestly, I have no problem with you, but I, 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 I can't wait for the moment when I don't have to do that anymore. There's so many things in this job where, where you just think uh, again. So, and that's you have to be the best version of yourself. You have to, and especially for a club like Liverpool, which because I know it's so impo it means so much and it's so important for so many people. I cannot do it on three wheels. I just it was not allowed. And I don't never want it to be a passenger in all that. It's it's the the, the my my managing skills obviously uh, so many better managers out there but I'm it's based on energy, on emotion, on, on, on relationships and all these kind of things. And that takes all of you. That's just how it is. It needs all of you. And um, and in the moment you think, okay, they can't do it like that anymore. Then you can do it maybe a little bit different. Or so. I'm who I am and I'm where I am because how I am. So with all the good and the bad things, it, it is. And if I cannot be that anymore, stop it and tell the people. That's how I understand it. I didn't stop. And I didn't say it after one year. I didn't say it after two years. Not after three. Not after four. When or after five, when it was difficult, stuff like this. It was not one time. A little idea. It was not my idea when I signed a new contract. I was 100% convinced in this moment we will go until 2026. 100%. But how can I? I underestimated, or, I did, or, or, or judged it wrong. It's not my my level. My energy level is endless, because it always was, and now it's not. Yeah, and then we have to change. Well, Jürgen, there can be no argument you've had extraordinary success with this football club. Is there one moment from your tenure you can look back on more fondly than any other? And equally, do you leave Liverpool Football Club with any regrets? No, well, I'm not in the mood to think about that, to be honest. I do that here today because it had to be done, but I'm not in, I don't, I'm not in a, I don't, wanna rem don't have to remember anything now. The best, in my idle world, the best memories are still to come. To be honest, um, so let me say like that. So I'm not in that mood. There are so many moments that pff, I would anyway probably mention the wrong one um, because I'm not prepared. Um, so, but that's not about today. I have no regrets so far. I have no, I have a lot of special memories. Nothing to mention today. We are here to tell, to answer your questions actually, because I thought the most important people know already. So, so our supporters who want to watch it could watch it, and who want to, the, the players know it. So. That's done for me, but of course I do that today as well, um, and it's absolutely fine. But it's nothing to add on, really. Um, we can clarify things. We can speak about. I saw only this morning, surprisingly, so we have, when it came out, and saw Jose Enrique, which I like a lot, and he's obviously has a big Liverpool heart. But he said whatever I say. I think that's what I understood. Whatever I say, it's still about FSG, and I can tell you, Jose, it's not. Nothing to do with it. So, my this time, what I had, and it would be so easy in this job to just blame the owners and say, yeah, we would have won more trophies if FSG would have spent more. I was I always happy with each second what we did exactly. No, but it was absolutely fine. This club is still different now. Billy said because we built two stands, which will last forever. They will stay there. If there's not an earthquake, they will stay there. So the stadium is wonderful. We built this AXA train ground where you are. Wonderful. This will stay for the next 30, 40, 50 years. Wonderful. Everything said. We did what we did properly. That's really important. We did it the Liverpool way, what I loved. So, and that we didn't win 
with 97 points and we didn't win the Champions League final, it had nothing to do with that one player was not in or we would have spent for another one 120. I understand 100% that it's a fan view, fine. A professional view can never be like that, it just can't. So my job, if you blame anybody for not winning the Champions League three times more often, probably, yeah, it's me. It was my job to, to make that happen, to work with the team um, we have. And not winning, becoming champion with 97, and I even forgot the next number, what was that, 94? Something like that. It's me, nobody else, because everybody brought us to that point. 97 points is exceptional. Having a team who can gain 97 points, exceptional. Having a team who can qualify for the Champions League, exceptional. So it had nothing to do with that. Yes, it was super intense. Super intense. And I cannot tell you if losing a final is more intense than winning a final because I didn't win a final that often. So I can tell you losing a final is super intense. So, And that obviously over the years added on, yeah, it's like a tree. A few more rings, stuff like this, you have them. And at one point, um, you have to make sure you, you get a rest. And um, again, what I said yesterday, doing the job for 24 years, I arrived here. As a normal guy, I, I, in my understanding, I am that still, 100%. And I never lived a life. I never. And I want that as well. That's true. But I never wanted that that much that I had to think about it. I just want these three, four weeks in the summer somehow is fine, but it's not anymore. So, And whatever will happen in the future, I don't know now. I don't know now. But no club, no country for the next year, no other English club ever. I can promise that, even if I have nothing to eat, that will not happen. So, um, and that will not happen as well, by the way. So, um, <laughs> thanks to Liverpool. Um, and, and, um, and so that's all, that's all okay. But it's too important to do it with 50%. It is just too important. And that's why, and this team is set up for the future. When I said Liverpool 2.0, that didn't include me, obviously, for the next 10 years. So, But the team is there, the basis is there. And whoever comes in cannot give anybody a guarantee to win trophies, but can give as a good chance to play really good football. And that's fine, because we will get a top manager here. And then there will be good football and what we all learned and improved and did in the last few years and this changing from doubters to believers and staying believing in difficult moments, if we keep all that, then it is a wonderful future ahead. And that's all I want. And I want not be the passenger who, 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 may, who uh, is disturbing that process. Billy, uh, Mark Ogden, ESPN. Just in terms of the process of replacing Jürgen, do you have a time scale in place in terms of do you want it result before the end of the season or do you want to be respectful in terms of the team has to do what they have to do before the season finishes? And, and I know you're not going to the name game, but do you have a target in mind, uh, an ideal success for it? Yeah, no, Mark, appreciate the, con the, the question. I think from our perspective, I, I wouldn't want to set an expectation, number one, um, because this is a process that we need to go through. Um, as I said, it's a process that we have gone through in the past. Um, the way we operate as a football club is, uh, is to ensure that we've looked at all the information, uh, all the data, um, we've done our proper due diligence, um, and then we'll make a decision and we'll have an announcement at that time. So uh, I understand the question, but uh, I can't commit to a, a timeline on it. Um, it will go on in the background, uh, and you can be sure that we'll be doing everything we possibly can to make, as Jurgen said, the right decision for the for the future of this football club. Um, that's the way we've always operated, uh, and that's the way we'll operate through this process. Um, but at the same time, it's not to be a distraction. This is about making sure that this campaign continues um, and that the team can continue to perform. Um, and as I said, when we have something to, to say, we'll, we'll have something to say at that point. Andy Hunt to The Guardian. Uh, Jürgen, <clears throat> Alex Ferguson once announced that he was stepping down at the end of the season and changed his mind halfway through. You could short no. a sabbatical. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything that could happen? Like Alex winning Ferguson the league, winning the Europa League. Step down twice. Just, sorry, go, I didn't know that. Alex Ferguson stepped down and then changed his mind. He yeah. said he was stepping down at the end of the season and changed his mind halfway through. 
you could show us a sabbatical uh, to take the Liverpool job. Is there anything that could happen over the next four months, winning the league, winning the Europa League, that could re-energise you and make you change your mind? No, 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 nothing. Alex, I raised his number. Yeah. Um, um, no, nothing. I, I respect Alex a lot. I don't know what he was, but what drive, but drove him that time. Um, no, I, I really thought a lot about the, how I said the situation was always clear because of our relationship we have um, in the club it was always clear. Um, I have to make the decision at one point because nobody else would have. It's just like the trust and and and, and the respect we had for each other and that and that the owners knew as well. I would take the decision when I because I don't want to hanging around and 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 doing a job somehow. Um, so that why no. I thought it through um, properly, and actually I, I want to. I want everything this season. It wouldn't change my mind. And if if we don't win anything, it wouldn't change my mind. Um, it, it's just it's a decision I made independent of any kind of results. A, a, a big one is the potential of the team. And I really see they. That's a good basis. It's a really good basis. Not not more. Not more. So we are not better than other teams or whatever. But we have a good basis to work with, and that's really that's really important. And um, that's why uh, it's a good moment to to give it to somebody else. Hi, Jurgen. Uh, Lewis Steele, Dana Man. The fans are obviously very upset that you're leaving. What is your main message to the fans between now and when you leave? I like what I said yesterday. Or, okay, you saw it this morning. It's like I, I really hope you can accept the decision. That's how it is. And um, and besides that, it's not. I'm not in the mood for for um, saying thank you. I should have five million times, um, and we'll do that. These things will all happen. Now it's the rest of the season. Now it's we all know the outside world want to destroy that. That's clear. Opponents want to take each opportunity to 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 make you weaker. Stuff like this. All about us and. I said yesterday, and, and, and would like to say it would be really cool, because there's no misunderstanding of my feelings towards our supporters or the other way around. There's no, there's, I think there's everything clear. But we don't have to make these, or we should not make these games about me. That's really important. So we need all the support for all the games starting the day after tomorrow, then Wednesday, then Saturday or Sunday. I don't, I don't know. So like a lot of games coming up, and we need that, and we want that, and that's it. Let's. Squeeze everything out of the season. That's the message. Thank you. Uh, hi, Jurgen. Uh, Richard Jolly from the Independent. Um, you mentioned a couple of times about wanting to go back and do normal things, um, lead a bit of a normal life. Is there anything in particular? That no, you I don't know how normal that is, so I have to figure out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. As you have in sports, uh, uh, Jurgen. When you took over the job, did you expect it to be as fun, as intense, and maybe as tiring as it is? It was not tiring. It's intense. It is now. It's my my fault, not the job's fault. So um, yeah, I expected. I had no clue what I can expect. I, I knew about the size of the club, but uh, that's all I knew. And all the rest was is about the people working here, the people we are doing it for. Um, how can you know that before you experience it? Because you feel it. Before you feel it, you cannot know it. This is the best club in the world. It's outstanding. Um, everything about it. Um, being an honourable scout is probably, I would have known that before, but it's probably one of the best things I could have I've ever achieved in my life. Um, it's absolutely outstanding. Um, and the way these people deal with difficulties is a role model for me. Um, and I learned so much here. So I didn't think about how it will be, but it was a lot of fun in still. So I, I was sad. I, I understand it's kind of a bit of a, a misunderstanding or, or not 100% clear for you because you have so many questions. I'll answer them. I said it before. But I'm not in a mood to, for recap, how was that? How was that? No, no, no. We have enough time for that. Um, I could talk now about Norwich if, you, if I'm 100% honest. <laughs> uh, but I, I get it that, that you are now today not too interested in that. Uh, but that is my, my main concern after we leave this room. And. Um, that's what everybody can expect, 
from me, and that's what I will deliver until the last day, 100 percent. Any more? Chris? Chris, that's it. A lot of supporters are comparing today to the day Bill Shankly announced he's leaving, and Kenny Darbleish. I mean, how? I mean, the doctor, do you think you would agree that that is a fair comparison? I know you can stood next to you, but just to talk about the vacuum he's going to leave behind. Um, yeah, I think um, we were talking about it earlier. I had a conversation with my son who said, I thought he was going to manage forever. So um, I can understand the, the, the impact. Um, and as he said, you know, the, the shock. Um, and uh, we'll have the, the right time and the, and the right opportunity to, um, as Jurgen said, to look back and to talk about his career. Um, obviously, the, the ride that we've been on um, has been extraordinary. And certainly his success, leadership, who he is as a person, charisma. Um, but, you know, the relationships, as he said, that, that have been created, um, the team that's been built here is uh, obviously a massive credit to him. And um, we're all in a position, as I said, where, you know, we want to get through today and, uh, and we want to focus on getting back to, to playing and getting on the pitch and winning football matches. Um, but... In terms of you know his impact, obviously it's uh, it's been enormous, and as a as a colleague, it's been an incredible last eight plus years, and as a supporter, as a fan, it's been equally so. So um, we hope that that continues. We've got, as he said, we've got targets ahead of us, and that's where we're, our focus is going to be. Billy, it was mentioned in the statement, obviously, Pep Linders and this all myself, so Peter Kravitz will all read as well. Were there any attempts made to sort of keep some of that experience on board? I'm thinking, you know, maybe Vitor um, in terms of their roles, would it have been possible to keep them after the game of the league? Yeah, I think, um, I mean, Jurgen, you may want to comment on this as well, but I think from a from an overall perspective, the, the decision that was taken at the time, um, number one, I think for, um, for Pep and Vitor, want to get going in their managerial careers. Um, and so I think that's something that, um, you know, we understood as well, um, and they'll be, obviously they will go, they're not going today. Uh, they will go with our, um, with our support and anything we can possibly do to help their career going forward. We will of course do. Um, and, uh, you know, the, as I said, the, the team that Jurgen has built is an incredibly strong one, but there's also a, a huge team around that that group as well that uh, that will be here to help in terms of that experience level as well. So yeah, it's like that. That um, I will take the uh, the break, um, but the other boys are open, so and ready. Let me say it like that: if somebody is ready and if somebody can say that, and it's me, they are ready. The impact the boys had over the years, and especially uh, the impact Pep had in the last few years on the football we play is second to none and it's absolutely incredible. So I know that I have to be very uh, thankful and grateful to him and I am, I am because he gave me um, so many a new vision and um, and helped me develop over the last years. I'm pretty sure I could help him a little bit as well. But uh, and, and that's the idea between when you work that closely together. So they will go for it and I will support it from wherever I am um, and will follow it closely and um, enjoy that a lot because I know that will be uh, there's a lot to expect from the boys. James Pierce. Yeah, James Pierce from the Athletic. You mentioned before about obviously when the meetings were going on about pre-season and you thought you're not sure you've got it in you to go again. Was that the moment then, or was there another moment when you were absolutely convinced this was the right decision? No, it was pretty much the first time, and we, it, that starts extremely early, yeah? playing the breezes so or stuff like this. Uh, and obviously, I knew I knew that the last year was so, so this, so last season, and when was it? Three years ago, mm. seven and a half disease. I think you can count them easily as dog years. As, like that's really, it's really, it's really big um, to to get through this. Um, all that stuff. Um, you might have the opportunity to, to to look at a picture when I arrived in 2015. If you make a picture of me today, you would say 
pioneers only. So uh, a, a lot of things happened, obviously, since then. Um, yes, it was the first time, actually, when I, when, when I realized, because I'm usually the leading part of these meetings. Right, okay, that's how we do it. So somebody comes to me and says, okay, we have to do this or that, and we have to beat around, and then I'm the one who says, okay, in that moment we can do that, here we don't do it, blah, blah, blah. And I couldn't, I was like, eh? okay, what, what about the proposals, what can we do? And that was the first moment. So um, We still planned it, so whoever comes is fine, we'll be fine with the preseason, <laughs> because we had to, um, in, the best, in the best sensible, in the, in the most sensible way, 100%, so that's fine. Uh, but that was the moment I started thinking, and then I had to, it was nothing else. Then uh, the football we played became better and better and better. The team, the, the, the potential of the team was more and more obvious, um, and that was another moment. I thought, okay, that's it. So come on, uh, that with um, a proper push, a really good manager, um, which is on top of his game, that will be fun to watch, and I will do that. Mm -hmm. Just one thing, just curious, is there one thing you're looking forward to doing most when you, when you finish? I, I didn't think about that yet, uh, because I had actually no time to do that, um, but I will find things, who can believe it. Um, so that is fine, nobody has to worry about that. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Martinez is the defender.